Hello and welcome to Trojan Talk. I'm your host, Aaron Taylor. Today we'll find out how people in the Troy University community can help those in need with Safe Zone for All. And right. some training sessions coming up. Amanda right. Dickey, one of the organizers, joining me today. Amanda, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having us. And uh, you've been here before to talk about this new initiative right. that started uh, this year here on campus. But for the folks out there who are unfamiliar with Safe Zone for All, mm -hmm. tell us a little about what it's all about. Uh, Safe Zone for All was developed to provide a more inclusive, safer environment for all of our Trojans on campus. Uh, what we do is we hold a training. We're now doing two trainings a semester. And what we do is we have people come in, faculty, staff, students come in. They, they receive training on different topics such as spirituality, racism, veterans, uh, LGBT issues, radical inclusion, and just kind of give them a knowledge of what to look out for when they have students come into their office and they're in distress. This trains them to have a welcoming atmosphere in their office and, and we give them uh, resources to know how to handle it, where to send these students when they're looking uh, for uh, answers to problems that they're having. And, uh, and they will help them find the right person to kind of help Absolutely. them in that situation. Absolutely. And so now you're doing some training sessions coming up here mm -hmm. uh, where individuals on campus can be a part of this program. Right. And, and as you mentioned there, the individuals that are part of this training, they're there to help the students out in need. Right. So talk about the training sessions and, and what's going on with that. What we do is we're training them to be allies. Mm -hmm. we, uh, the morning part of the session is uh, presentations done by presenters doing just training on, you know, what to look for with certain populations, what to watch out for, language to use, language not to use. Uh, we break for lunch. And then after lunch, we break into groups and we run scenarios. So we actually give them a hands-on experience with what uh, might come through their office door at some point to help them have a better knowledge of uh, how to help them. And all of this, uh, I guess, culminates with the fact that once they finish it, uh, they'll mm -hmm. get a sticker just like this one right here. Absolutely. Uh, that they'll have either on their office door or, or somewhere that can be seen. You, know, you said last time for students, mm -hmm. maybe even have it on a laptop. Right. And so that they, they see this sticker and mm -hmm. they have concerns. And whether or not they just need somebody to talk to about an issue situation, right. They can be approached. They approach they know this person. That's a safe place for them to go. They know that the person in that office is welcoming, and that they can find the help they need in that office. And now, uh, this is on campus. And you said it, it, we talked when you were here last time about mm -hmm. it, that it came here from an idea from another professor here. Right. But what have you seen so far in the in the little under a year, I guess, that it's kind of been in in place here? Have you seen seen some some success stories come out of this? There has been uh, success stories. We've had growth. We had uh, between our two trainings that we've had, we've had 77 people come. Uh, we've seen success stories. Uh, we've had uh, professors have people pop in their office uh, experiencing difficulties and they knew how to handle those situations and, and where to reach out to get them the help they needed. And so, and now uh, you talk about expansion. There is some mm -hmm. expansion coming out. Let's talk about that mm -hmm. before we get into any more about registration. Mm -hmm. You've got, you're going to move to some other campuses here, we right? We are. Uh, this semester we're going to Montgomery campus. We're going to have a training and peace walk there. Uh, this fall, we'll be expanding to our Dothan campus and, and doing the same format. And by spring of next year, we hope to be at Phoenix City campus. So then all four campuses here in the state will have a safe zone for all Correct. on all of those campuses. Absolutely. So, uh, and it's good to see that, that it's making the transition so that anybody, any Trojan out there gets Absolutely. some help. Absolutely. Uh, student Services, Dean Reeves, Derek Brewster have been phenomenal in their support and uh, helping us get this off the, the ground. They've sponsored it, they've supported it, and we're very, uh, we're very fortunate to have them behind us. And it was their thoughts for us to expand to all the campuses, and we are more than willing to do that. And of course, uh, the, the Troy training session, we've got one coming up mm -hmm. uh, here pretty soon. Right. Uh, there's two of them. Let's talk about the first one because okay. it's right around the corner. So. Right. Uh, our first one this semester is February the 26th. It's on a Friday. It'll go from nine to three. It's gonna be at um, Hall of Honor. Okay. Uh, register, uh, deadline to register for that is Wednesday, I believe the 23rd. Okay. All they have to do is email us, save stone for all at troy.edu. And that gets them registered for this Friday's training. And so uh, have an opportunity to be a part of this. Now, if, what would make a good ally? What are, the, what are some of the qualities, I guess? If anybody's out there thinking, is this something for me? Can I do this? It, what will make them, I guess, good, good for being an ally? It's this? about being inclusive. It's about mm -hmm. radical inclusion. Um, you don't necessarily have to agree with the person's religion, 
uh, the way they live. However, what you have to do is allow them to have a place at the table. You have to allow them to have a voice. It's okay to be uncomfortable, but we have to be inclusive as well. And of course, and maybe you end up being that ear, that friendly mm -hmm. ear that for a student that maybe facing some tough times, absolutely. Uh, maybe even tragically tough times for some right. situations, maybe the one person that helps them find the light at the end of the tunnel. Absolutely. So, uh, well, here's hoping that individuals take part in this training session and uh, expand the safe zone for all students here at Troy University. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on today's edition of Trojan Talk.